What's up guys, this is Fabio Douglas and welcome to another 2020 NBA Draft Prospect full game video breakdown. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Arizona wing Josh Green. Josh Green well, had a pretty good freshman season for Arizona, averaged around 12 points a game along with 4.5 rebounds per game. Also showed that he was one of the best defenders in this draft class. And you know, he came into Arizona as a freshman having a very nice career at IMG Academy, was a McDonald's All-American, all that stuff. And, you know, this Arizona team, given how many uh, five-star recruits they had and tough freshmen and returning guys, maybe they underachieved a little bit. But overall, I think Josh Green had a pretty solid freshman campaign. I have him as a late first-round pick in my most recent big board. I think I have him around 26 or 27. So that's where I kind of stand on him at the moment. And I'm excited to get into this game with you guys. This is the game from 2019 where Arizona is taking on Gonzaga. It's not a full game, it's a condensed game, but I do think it shows the majority of all shots and plays, so I am excited to get into this with you guys, and let's get to it. So he's going to be number zero in the whites, so he is uh, currently on the left wing. And so again, he's a 6'6", uh, I believe 210 wing People really like his just his overall defensive versatility. They really like the way how he's disciplined on defense, stays in a stance extremely well. His offensive game, I think, is still coming along a little bit. He did shoot 36% from three, which is pretty solid, but he only was a 42% field goal shooter, so I'd like to see that improve a little bit. But overall, I do think he's a very uh, viable NBA prospect, and again, I have him going in the first round. And so, again, he was taking the ball off the floor right there. Showed nice vision. Let's see what he does here. And so, again, his shot selection isn't great. He settles for a lot of these mid-range floaters where, regardless of whether or not they go in, they're pretty low percentage. And then he doesn't really have the touch, uh, the consistent touch at least, to make them at a high clip. So I do think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive in trying to get to the rim because he has a pretty solid and uh, bulky frame. To where I think he could really do some damage at the rim. He just needs to start getting there more often. So he's guarding Corey Kispert right now. That time he got kind of hammered on that screen. And Kispert missed a shot. But I'd like to see a little bit um, more body control there from Green. And there's Nico Mannion with the tough finish. And so, again, he's primarily guarding Corey Kispert for Gonzaga, who I do have as a top 100 guy on my most recent big board. Good job scrambling. I like how instead of going straight to Tilly, he tried to cut off that pass. That showed good instincts, and he almost got a steal there. And so, you know, that's a tough situation for Green to be in two-on-one out on the perimeter, and I do think he made the correct call, and it led to a missed shot uh, for Gonzaga. So, again, he's on Kispert here. We got another foul. The good thing about this is that I don't have to fast forward anything. And so here's Josh Green. Now he's on Joel Ayayi. Right there, just look at the defensive stance. He's really good at planting his feet and not getting himself off balance. Right there, a lot of times we'll see Wings like that kind of get off balance and allow their man to go past him. Josh Green, just really nice job just planting his foot in the ground. Let's see what he does here. That time he just went up and got blocked. And again, I do think he needs to be a little bit of a better finisher, a little bit more of an aggressive finisher. But I do think that'll come in time. But again, he I think he does add instant value as a defender. Nice, nice read right there. And Manning's going to miss a shot, but I like the vision that Josh Green showed. I do think Josh Green's a pretty intelligent player, I would say. I think uh, he averaged around 2.5 assists compared to only around 1.5 turnovers. So whenever you see a wing like that who doesn't have a negative assist to turnover ratio, especially in this type of a draft, uh, that's usually a positive sign. And I do think Green has shown um, reasonable levels of intelligence uh, throughout his basketball career. And it definitely continued at Arizona. He looked a little bit shell-shocked at the beginning of the year, but then he started to come into his own uh, towards the end. And so, you know, there's just... There's going to be growing pains. I didn't expect him to have a great, uh, unnecessarily outstanding freshman campaign. But, you know, he didn't perform poorly enough for him to limit his draft stock a whole ton. I do think he's going to go in the first round um, rather comfortably. 
I would say. And so here he is on Kispert. Again, kind of got hung up on that little uh, running screen, but nothing going on there. And so here's Green with the ball. Going to find Mannion. Ooh, that's a nice cut. And let's see if he finishes. Yep. Really nice play from Mannion and Green. That's a classic. We, we ran that same play in middle school. That's how I know it. Just a simple off-ball screen. And uh, it's a weak side cut for an alley-oop. And here's Green running the floor well. Yeah, Mannion got a little bit tied up with the dribble, but overall Green did a nice job filling in that lane and going hard on the break. And I believe Green's out here for a little bit, so I will skip ahead to 6 minutes and 30 seconds in the video when he comes back in. And here we go. And so he is in on this free throw. Yeah, so again, number 0 in the white. And we've seen him so far just have that alley-oop dunk. Again, he's a pretty solid athlete, I would say. And, again, that shows defensively more than offensively. I do think he needs to improve his ball skills a little bit just so he could be more of a driving threat. But, overall, I do like his uh, level of play and his motor and everything like that. That's a really nice feed. Really just on the run, but it's one-handed. That's a really nice play from Josh Green, I will say. Just That was a one-handed touch pass to Chase Jeter, who was cutting into the lane, and he ultimately finishes. That's in transition. That's on the move. It's a very nice play. Josh Green switched onto a Yayi there. So here he is again. And that's Jamarl Baker, I believe. So again, you can see he's just really sturdy in his stance. Rarely will get beat back door. Hard to get off balance. Let's see what he does here. Again, there's a shot, and he's going to miss that one. But, you know, the shot for him, it looks a little bit odd. But again, 36% shooter, so he at least has shown promise. And I believe he was a, let me get this right, a 78% free throw shooter. So that's certainly not a death sentence by any stretch. And so I think there's enough there to kind of, to not necessarily buy the shooting, but to not be extremely worried about the future of a shooting ability. We got a foul right here. Here are free throws. But again, I think it really just came down to him not really being able to get up get to the basket off the dribble as much as he would have liked to. And I think that's probably the main reason for his lowish shooting percentages. And here he is on Admin Gilder. You can see he moves his feet extremely well. Look at how he's staying with him. That might be one of his best defensive possessions of this game right there. Moved his feet well. Uh, stayed within an arm's length. That was really, really solid. Again, that's how he's going to bring his instant impact as a defender. And obviously he has a higher upset like, than a guy than what we looked at yesterday uh, in Robert Woodard the second, Just because he does have that offensive acumen. He has shown flashes of that. Not to say that Woodard hasn't, but I think you can buy it a little bit more. An another really, really nice pass uh, from Josh Green right there immediately. Just finding a little basket cut or just under basket pass. And so again, I do think that he does show... Again, that's another really awesome pass from Josh Green. <laughs> Those are three passes already that we've seen that he's really just delivered perfect dimes. And so, again, I do think that's an underrated aspect of his game. He is a very good passer. He shows really nice vision. And so if they can really hone his skills as a dribbler, I think he could be really, really effective. Got a foul on the ground. There's Mannion just doing his thing. And there's, I think that's Dylan Smith, I want to say. So here's Green again, shooting the gap, kind of just denying that Corey Kispert DHO that they were looking for. 
And so, listen, he's just he's probably one of the best wing defenders I've seen in this draft class thus far. And again, you can see him right now. Just look at how attached he stays. He's just glued onto him. He isn't total. Again, look at how active he is the second Corey Kispert gives up his dribble. He's in his face. You know, he knows to play aggressively. And so, yeah, I, again, that's two, two possessions in the last minute and a half, I would say, where he's just looked awesome on defense. There's Manny with a three. That miss, and then... Let's see. That time he got caught reaching a little bit, I would say. But that was in traffic, not a huge worry. Nice pass from Mannion into Jeter. Nothing really going on there. So green on Kispert again. We've seen this. And again, he's a guy who can guard probably one through three in the NBA. So that's a very um, encouraging encouraging skill set. He's out right here again for a little bit. Then he is in at 14.01. So I'll skip ahead there. So yeah, he's in for the rest of the first half here. For, so for the final eight minutes. Good job lifting up Josh Green right there. And then he's going to miss that shot. And again, just doesn't really have that explosion towards the rim that you would like to see from an NBA wing. I would say I think that is a little bit more attributed to just his um, not being super comfortable with the ball in his hands more so than his athleticism. But I do think that limits him. You can see right there he got a nice full head of steam and he actually drew the foul and got the floater to go. So you see, once he doesn't really have to make a whole lot of moves with the ball in his hands, he becomes a lot more lethal. So off the catch, attacking closeouts, that's something where he could definitely exploit in the NBA. And so again, you can see him right now just playing defense. Got a little bit tripped up by uh, Killian Tilly. Ooh, that should be goaltending, yeah. So here's Green again on the perimeter. Nice reversal. Just keeping the ball moving. Let's see if he hits this. Again, there seems to be a little bit of a hitch in his jump shot, but it doesn't look like it really alters the overall flight of the ball. So, you know, maybe it just, you know, I'm not really sure how comfortable he is shooting off the dribble. I think he's pretty fluid, but I just don't really think with that shot form, it's necessarily going to be a major part of his game. So here's Green on the perimeter. It's a nice play from Mannion. Green was in a good spot as well. He was in that weak side corner. Mannion had a lot of options there. And here he is just chasing uh, Kispert around the screen. So right there, just got a little bit caught up in behind. I'm surprised there was no help there. So Green was actually kind of close to him, but he just could, really couldn't get back in front of him. Kisser with a nice drive to the hole. This looks like we got a blocking foul. Yeah. So Green made that first free throw, and we'll see it again. So yeah. Again, 78% from the line, so he's not a bad free throw shooter by any means. But I just, there is a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see it right here, but there is a little bit of a, ah, there we go. There is a little bit of a, like a, a hitch in there wasn't that exaggerated obviously but there is a little bit of uh pause before that release comes into play so it's not as fluid as you would necessarily like it to be so here's green again Good job coming off that flare screen. He's going to knock in that floater. And so, again, if he could really get that down, I mean, then getting to the rim doesn't really become a huge issue. But we saw right there, that was a pretty nice uh, 
pretty nice floater, I will say. And again, that was smooth. Wasn't off balance. Showed a nice touch. Nice drive from Ayayi. We got an immediate timeout right here, but they'll just come right back out. And again, so you saw right there, just doesn't really have that next level explos explosion. Kind of got stuffed by the rim. He did make that first free throw, and he made that second one as well. So, yeah, you can see some of the things on the side right now. He was an All-American national champion in high school out of, from IMG. They were on that team that I think beat Mount Verde in the championship of Geico Nationals. And that was a team with, obviously, Cade Cunningham and uh, not really sure who else. There was some senior that was good on that team. I forget who. Oh, reverse it. Mm. Green was open for three right there. I feel like we were a clean uh, catch and transfer. So Green's on weak side, and he actually, he got the steal, but it ended up being a charge. And so here he is in the corner again. He's kind of looking for something. Pretty decent post entry. Good job relocating. Let's see what he does here. Again, maybe should have uh, got caught up in the air a little bit. That pass wasn't as crisp as you would have liked it to be. At least he saw it, though. And again, right there, just a nice job just kind of cutting off that transition action from Gonzaga, and uh, Green pretty much stopped Adam and Gilder. He was looking to attack, and he just couldn't. So that was a nice play. Subtle, but it was a good play. Got the first free throw to kill, and second one's going to be missed. So here he is on the wing. Now what's going on? Looks like he's going to stay out on the top of the key. Ooh, he was looking for uh, Mannion. Couldn't find him, though. Made the right call, but... <laughs> It's a nice take from Mannion. Nothing really going on there in terms of Josh Green just stayed in that corner. Got another foul here. Looks like we're going to get free throws, and then this one will be second one. Yep. I missed that one. Josh Green grabs that rebound. Green's in the corner. Yeah, didn't really offer much as a slash. That's a really heads-up play from Green. He's going to finish. No. He's gotten blocked at the rim, I think, three times. But again, I do like that anticipation he showed defensively right there. Just getting a cheap steal in the backcourt, winning another possession for his team. Didn't result in anything. But again, those are, the, those are winning plays. So I do like that for Josh Green. And he just couldn't finish with on the layup. Final, what is it? Five seconds left. Let's see. So, again, nice job going on that switch. And then here he is just locking down again. Is the guy going to hit that? No. Again, really nice possession defensively from Green. Stayed on balance, moved his feet really well, never got out of his stance, contested, just 
awesome, awesome defense from Josh Green. So I'll pause the video here, and uh, I'll get back to you guys with the second half. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, we will see you for the second half. Thanks for watching.